Watch that wire at the bottom, and I find it helpful, oh, I'll do this, yeah, to hold that back for people. Oh, there we go, that's better. So just don't trip on that wire at the bottom. Callahill resident Sarah McEnany is the co-founder of the Reading Viaduct Project and gives tours of the elevated rail line to spread awareness about its possible use as a park. The proposed park would be similar to the High Line in New York and would incorporate the track's elevation and length to serve as a walkable green space. The viaduct has sat abandoned since 1984, but in its heyday brought trains to and from the Reading Terminal Station. The tracks currently run from Vine Street to Fairmount and pass through the neighborhoods of North Chinatown, Callahill, and West Poplar. Everyone would benefit, and I see it as something that would knit these communities together. As an agent of blight now, it's a source of short dumping and it's a, uh, a site of criminal activity because it's dark and unlit and not cared for. But as a cared for space, people would use it. And I believe that it would, um, if we had a park here, the adjacent parcels, uh, empty parcels and buildings would finally get developed. Something needs to happen here. This has sat like this for, you know, getting close to 30 years. Center City District estimates that it would cost around $37 million to refurbish the entire viaduct, but that individual parcels would be cheaper to renovate. The city has expressed an interest in making the park and has begun negotiations with the Reading International Company, which owns the viaduct. SEPTA has already given permission to use the small part that they own. Funds from third-party developers will likely be necessary to help pay for the viaduct as well. While some local residents have expressed concerns that an elevated park could create higher taxes and increase crime, most seem to favor the idea of refurbishing the viaduct. I think everyone would benefit, um, would be brighter, lighter, safer, cleaner, prettier, and uh, business would do better, and people would be happier, and um, I think across the board, everyone would benefit. I hope it happens. Uh, I think it would be great for the neighborhood. Um, yeah, I think it's a good good project, and I uh, hope it succeeds. I think it's not a good idea. Yeah, I, think mm -mm. So. I think it's a bad neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it's a great idea. I mean, people can enjoy themselves in a place where like it's not even used. While there are still some reservations, many residents and community leaders alike are excited by the prospect of turning this abandoned viaduct into Philadelphia's own High Line. In Callahill, I'm Joel Mason Gaines, reporting for Temple University.